In 1995, Governor Pataki followed their lead, pulling all state funding for college programs and prisons, shutting the door on inmates looking to improve themselves and their chances. <laughs> Dr. Ann Reisner was volunteering at Sing Sing at the time. One of the men I remember saying to me, when the education money dried up, they knew that hope would be scarce in the prison, and that education equaled hope. Before he became commissioner of the New York State Department of Correctional Services, Brian Fisher was superintendent of Sing Sing and a strong believer in the need for education. If you're just at the beginning and you know that you're going to be here for 30 more years, why even get that education? Because education frees them. Education gives them a chance to do other things even inside the prison. They'll get involved in things a little more intellectual than just going in the yard and, and, and pumping iron. Most people don't understand that. 99% of of all the inmates in New York State are going to come home at some point in their career. Everybody you see tonight, everybody you see in jail, in Sing Sing, sooner or later will be on the street. Would you rather have them educated or not educated? Initially, it was the inmates themselves who struggled to bring education back to Sing Sing following the end of the program in 1995. Privately funded classes resumed in June of 2000 under a program called Hudson Link. Collaborating first with Nyack College and then with Mercy College, the program brings professors and teachers to the prison, where they teach all the courses necessary for the inmates to earn a bachelor's or associate's degree in behavioral science. The classes are held in this schoolhouse overlooking the Hudson River. Here students learn the exact same curriculum taught at other Mercy College campuses, like computer skills and logical thinking, while outside they can hear the sounds of their fellow inmates playing ball in the yard. They sacrifice rec time for school time. It's a choice none of them regrets.